Well, look, it's, uh, it's certainly one of the highlights of my career. There's no question about that. Jerry Seinfeld is probably one of the biggest celebrities in the world and to have scored his services for the Greater Building Society here in Australia is, uh, well, just fantastic. Uh, it's, it's certainly going to be one of the career highlights for me. There's no question about that. I guess this was an example of me subscribing to my wow factor theory. Um, I suggested to the Building Society that if they wanted to expand uh, their business and they wanted to grow their business, then a fast track way of doing that would be to um, use a celebrity uh, spokesperson. And uh, of course, that's easy to say, but not so easy to do because there are a lot of celebrities out there these days that uh, have decided for one reason or another that they don't want to do any advertising. Um, and of course, the other challenge that you have is selecting the right celebrity. Um, I am a rather harsh critic of businesses who just label slap uh, a celebrity onto their brand. And uh, I was very um, concerned that if we were going to go down the path of using a celebrity for the Greater Building Society, that we just didn't label slap things, uh, that we actually used that celebrity in an integrated way, uh, and that the celebrity suited the brand. So what we did, uh, we did a lot of research and uh, went through um, both Australian and international celebrities. Uh, in terms of our research, uh, asked the general public uh, just what they thought of these people. And as it turned out, uh, because the greatest brand is um, somewhat cheeky, and uh, I've certainly been conscious of developing that over the years because uh, it's a great way of differentiating themselves from the, from the banks. Uh, we were looking for a personality who had that same uh, sort of demeanor, and uh, Jerry Seinfeld just was number one. I mean, we had a list of, uh, of possible celebrities, but there's no question he was up the top. We shot for the top and we got it. Uh, look, it's been documented uh, in, the, in the media quite extensively since news broke of the Jerry Seinfeld campaign for the greater that uh, it was a combination of, I guess, uh, right place and the right time. Uh, and the fact that uh, Jerry quite liked uh, the creative that we put to him. Uh, I contacted Jerry's uh, manager, George Shapiro, uh, put the concept to him. He quite liked it because it was a cheeky campaign with a bit of fun to it. And uh, we probably all know Jerry Seinfeld doesn't have to do things for the money these days. Um, so when he looked at the uh, concept, uh, he thought it was a bit of fun as well. And uh, Jerry, from what we believe, does things these days because he enjoys the idea. He gets a buzz out of the creative concept. And in this instance, he loved the idea. So he said yes, and the rest is history. Um, I think that the greater Jerry Seinfeld relationship will go down as one of the coups in Australian advertising history. Um, it's a fun campaign, and I think it really um, goes to show that if you put a wow behind things, and I know this is the wow of all wows, but if you put a wow behind things, then you certainly will reap the benefits. And Jerry's just a, a lovely guy. Uh, he's a real gentleman, very, very professional. Um, but you know what, Jerry Seinfeld himself actually subscribes to the theory of wow factor. And uh, his wow factor, aside from just being a very, very funny comedian, is that he over delivers. And uh, I'm a great subscriber of that too. I believe that if you want to stand out, you over deliver. And you either over deliver in customer service, or you over deliver in your product offerings, or you over deliver with a surprise and you have certain companies around the world that do that. Walt Disney is one of them. Uh, if you go to Disneyland, all sorts of things happen that you just didn't expect, so they over-deliver. Well, you know what, Jerry Seinfeld over-delivers. Um, we had struck a deal with Jerry, and uh, he was to provide us with a certain amount of his time to do these advertisements. Um, at the end of it, would you believe he asked, is there anything more I can do? He had already over-delivered, by the way, in terms of the content that he's given us, but even at the end of that, he said, is there anything more I can do? And I don't think you'd find too many celebrities of the size of Jerry Seinfeld that would be nice enough to, uh, to offer more like that. So I think I've learned a lesson out of that, and that is, is that no matter how big you get, and they don't come much bigger than Jerry Seinfeld, uh, you should continue to subscribe to the theory of uh, over-delivering, because just by over-delivering, that's your own wow factor.